I'm trying to figure out what to say in my intro. All right, so today we made it out to the World Expo in Dubai, Expo 2020. There's a bunch of different pavilions. We're gonna show you everything that we can over the next few days, so the next few weeks for you guys. So for all the different countries, they have this little passport thing that you can stamp in, get little stamps. So we're gonna see how many we can get to fill up our passport. I think Zuri's going for the most though. She's gonna try and get all of them. So we made it to the UAE pavilion. Don't know what's inside, but we'll see. You get this little number that you wait in the queue for, and they call you up, so we are group five. We'll see what's going on inside. It should be fun, I'm excited. Wow. Got our first stamp, UAE. So the UAE Pavilion, really cool. They have this whole Desert of Dreams exhibit where you walk through and it's dark and you see all these things and it gives like the history of Dubai and so definitely check that out if you come here. It's the home country so they really put a lot into it and it's awesome because you can see how much their culture and their history means to them even though they're a relatively new country. So we're on to Saudi Arabia next. Just got out of the Saudi Arabia pavilion. Absolutely must see. If you come to the expo this year, you have to go to Saudi Arabia. That was awesome. What'd you guys think of Saudi Arabia? It was amazing. Awesome. Must do, must do. Looks like to get in the Emirates pavilion, you have to make your own separate reservation, so be aware of that. I won't be able to make it because we have a helicopter tour later on. So instead, we're going to the state of Palestine. It should be interesting. Let's check it out. The grounds are made of actual sandstone. Yeah. The touch zone. It's an interesting name for an exhibit. <laughs> Food on this one. All right, now we're headed on to Morocco is a land of people driven by strong values. 
people who are open to others because they understand the universal dimension of humanity since the dawn of time. People who have gone beyond what they used to be. But... Mangadema sawa, zabal kana maaye. Mangadema sawa, zabal kana maaye. Zangu warui rara, kar kwa samaye. Mangadema sawa, zabal kana maaye. Mangadema sawa, zabal kana maaye. Zangu warui rara, kar kwa samaye. There's just all these different spices and oils in here. It smells amazing. I wish I could send the smells through the camera to you. What do you smell, Caesar? I don't know what it is, but it's great. Ata ata ina ta, kibar lay solot. Ata ata ina ta, kibar lay solot. Ana bussan ki khara, akar gumai cholo. All right, it's lunch time before we head out to the heli tour. So I got some al bayek. Looks like it's just kind of a fast food chicken sandwich. Not bad for like nine and a half dirhams. That's like three dollars or something. All right, so we ate lunch. Now we are leaving the expo. Me and five friends. We got Brad, Zuri, Abby from yesterday, and Tommaso. So we are headed to Dubai Heli Tours. To take a 17-minute helicopter tour. Pretty excited, Tommaso? Yeah, I'm very excited. Let's go. Finished up at Heli Dubai. It was pretty awesome. What did you think, Tommaso? It was really fun. Oh, I used Good to see all the buildings up close. What was your favorite part of the helicopter tour? Seeing how huge the Burj Khalifa was. It was like twice the size twice of everything. Twice the size of everything next to it. All of it. The homes, the architecture. Just the whole 17 minutes, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's really close to the Emirates Mall, and so we're just walking over from here, and so we'll get ready to see what that's all about. There's an indoor uh, ski slope, so we'll see what that looks like. Anyways, we'll take you there. And here we are, all the Emirates, all kinds of stores that we don't know the names of. What do you want to buy? Rolex. Okay. That's what I'm actually trying to find. There you go. Lots of fashion, a lot of black and white clothes, because that's what's popping. You got a suit? I got a suit, yeah. That was a, a deal. You got a deal. What was two hundred and thirty dollars for a suit and a dress shirt? How, how, what was it in Durham? Eight forty-five. You got a suit in Dubai. Everyone's gonna assume it was oh. like three grand. from the 110 degree Dubai weather and go in and ski. I actually know some friends that did it yesterday and they said they were freezing in there. My roommate couldn't feel his hands. 60 bucks for two hours I hear, something like that. Anyways, you might want to check into that. All right, the Emirates Mall was pretty dope. I had a gift certificate for Coldstone. Tried to use it here, they were like, no, get out here. Fully anticipated. 
Anyways, we're gonna get on the train, head back to the hotel. See you there. All right, made it back off the train and we're in the marina. Beautiful little walk and we can head back to the hotel before dinner, which I think you'll find pretty sweet. Welcome to dinner in the sky in Dubai. 50 meters in the air. So it was an awesome day, did a lot of cool stuff. Make sure to subscribe if you liked this video and if you wanna see more of the Dubai stuff coming up. We're going back for a couple more days at the expo and then have a few more things coming up like we're going to the Atlantis water park, we're going into the Dubai desert for a desert safari. So make sure you subscribe and we'll check out that stuff as well when it comes up. Anyways, thanks for watching, go create your world.